Hi everyone, it's Linnea and I am here with another card project using the Walden card kit from Studio Calico. Today I'm going to be using uh, the stamp set and I'm just going to be using these leaf images here. And I'm going to start with, I'll start with the one that's meant for the acorn. And I'm going to use the solid image. And I'm going to be using a bit of the, um, the rock and roll technique. I'm going to grab, I have just some, um, this is just 80 pound card stock that I'm going to be using. And I'm going to start with dandelion ink from Memento. And then I also have the Heidi Swap mustard ink. And I'm going to start by inking up my whole stamp in the dandelion ink. And then I'm going to use just the edges. And I'm going to roll the stamp around in the Heidi Swap ink. And that'll give my stamp some dimension. I'm going to stamp that down. And then it goes from light in the middle to dark on the edges. So I'm going to be doing this with a bunch of different colors. I have, um, of course, these two yellow inks. And then I have coral ink from Heidi Swap. I have some other memento inks. I have Tangelo, Potter's Clay, and Rhubarb Stock. And then I'm also going to be using Color Theory Orange County, Well Red. And I'm going to be stamping the outlines of the leaves in dark brown ink. So I'm just going to do a whole bunch of stamping and I'll catch you guys in a couple minutes. Alright, so I have a bunch of those little leaves stamped and now I'm going to move on to this double leaf stamp here. Um, I think it's meant for the apple. And I thought I'd show you one more time again how I'm going to do this. So I'm going to start with the Tangelo Memento ink and I will ink up my whole stamp. And then I'm going to take it and I'm going to roll the edges in the Studio Calico Well Red ink. And then I'll stamp that down. And that one you can see a little bit better. It just has a little bit of red around the edges. And I really like the, um, the dimension it gives. I'm going for a fall leaf look and I really think this rock and roll technique really delivers. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to stamp a whole bunch of these and then I'll cut them out. Alright, so I have an A2 card base made from Nina Solar White cardstock, and I've cut the, um, I think they're birch trees, the paper from the card kit, to cover the whole card front, and now I'm just going to adhere that using my Scotch ATG runner. Alright, I've also punched out one of the little die cut label shapes, and that's going to go right in the middle there, and I'm going to be using the Thankful, um, it's like a plastic piece that's going to go right in the middle there. And then all these leaves that I've cut out, I'm just going to arrange them, some of them behind the little banner piece, some of them on top, and I'm just going to make it like a little fall scene. And I'm going to adhere those using my Tombow Mono Multi Glue, and I also, somewhere around here, I have my tweezers. I'm just going to use those um, just so I don't have to get my fingers all gluey. So I think... I'm going to put one strip of ATG on here, or maybe another one. Um, I'm not going all the way up to the edge because I want to be able to tuck those le some of the leaves behind it. And I'm just going to try my best to get that centered. That looks good. I feel like I have something sticky on here. <laughs> Alright, and then that's going to go down there as well. But I don't want to adhere that yet. Okay, so I'm just going to start here. And I'm just going to go around and I'm going to adhere a whole bunch of these. Okay, so now I have all of my leaves glued down. And I've put a little bit of foam tape on the back of my thankful piece. I'm just going to peel the backer off. And I'm going to stick that down right in the center. All right. And that is it. That's the card for today. And uh, thank you very much for watching. If you guys liked this card, please head over to my blog and click the follow button. You'll get email updates every time I post something new to my blog. And also give me a thumbs up over on YouTube as well. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.